And, but yeah, Alpha definitely beat out Zane here. And then he also beat out Stretch 2-1. And then he ran into Icy as his first match. That's what I'm telling you, man. Alpha's been like that super secret hidden boss. And like a JRPG that requires you to have like all these extra, extra like accomplishments just to fight him. And he's been like one of those hidden bosses in SoCal that I just tell people if he actually ever showed up to an offline tournament, he would cause a lot of pain and a lot of wonder to a lot of people. But for sure, Alpha is a really strong contender to be in. I think the last time we saw Alpha, I think he might have won top three for sure. We've had like a couple hidden bosses from SoCal all together just do really, really good. There was Ignis and Alpha, definitely the two players we can easily think of. What an aggressive grab, Jesus. He told Ven you can charge there at night all day, but I am gonna have to be on the aggressive side because I don't want to get camped out. Yeah, you have to like um, really catch Zelda off guard in terms of the character startup. Something that Ven does best to try to hide is a character's main weakness of sorts. So we yeah. to teleport there, basically serve the spot dodge. That's the thing about Ven oh. that I, oh, okay, hold on. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. That's the thing about Ven too. He's really good at hiding Zelda's weaknesses with her advantages that a lot of people sometimes forget Zelda does have some very clear-cut weaknesses and then Alpha just demonstrating that grab earlier we saw on is really good. Rough, rough spot there because that dash attack was meant to catch any defensive roll or back away roll there. And then he for sure, for sure caught that one. But nonetheless, Alpha is back on the market on the grab. Dash attack from Ven. There's the night setup. Like I said, Alpha has to stay on that aggressive side. Cause you never want to give Ven the time of the day to get that night going, and you can just tell Alpha is so quick to shut that down. Oh, I love to see how Ben's able to just like expertly position himself and use the stage to advance, trying to get like, up air and the stage, but not able to uh, hold the corner as long enough for Alpha to get that near. Yeah, that's the thing too. Is Alpha doesn't want to give Val? Oh, that's really good confirm. Uh, just because there's two hits coming out from Nehru's Love, the first one connect to the second one, and the way you can just teleport somebody to the Blast Zone is disgusting, so to speak. All right. Good. Look at that empty hop, bro. Like, he did an excellent job just trying to move around Ven's Knight, but also try to find a punish afterwards. And that empty, empty hop just, just gives him time of the day. But Ven, using the aggressive fires when is the recovery move on the stage, that's going to take that stock there. Yeah, he's like caught Alpha, like, waiting for a reaction. just never came in time. <laughs> Yeah, crazy thing about SoCal, speaking of these two players and Alpha and just in general, there's not a lot of Zeldas out here. That's that's funny enough. So uh, this is definitely something Alpha may or may not be used to. And I'm not going to go ahead and say Alpha plays a lot of Elite Smash, but he may or may not. Point is, this is definitely, I feel like, something new to Alpha because there's not a lot of Zeldas in SoCal particularly. What? Good pressure to pulling out the bomb there and then just throw it back a van on the bottom and then using a boomerang to cover a jump. Uh, that empty help was such a clean move, but unfortunately this time Ven is not going to give Alpha anything. The fire arrow, this man is looking for that pick just so he can get the stop. For right now. Yeah, and this is what I'm liking about Alpha too. He knows the cards are down, but he knows he's looking for a quick pick to get that fire oh arrow God. to anything like that. Exactly. This is rough because Ben can basically just pick and choose his, his options or his openings here. Oh, wow. Good defensive option there by Alpha. He grabbed double fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, at ledge. Imagine it's hit center stage, but immediately Ben teleports right <laughs> alongside him. Ben, oh, was looking for the tech roll there for the up air in the other direction. Not quite going to get it, though. Yeah, this is this is any man's game. The way that Alpha has been literally at 71%, this is like a young link combo away from Alpha taking it. There it starts there with fire arrow, coverage with the boomerang. He's got stage control. No bomb. Usually we'll sometimes see Young Link go for the bomb just to kind of cover an option there. The spot dodge will be the one thing he kinda wanted to do to punish Van, but Van just knows I can beat this out with forward smash and take game one. Good stuff to good stuff to Ven though, like not being phased by Alpha's aggressiveness. Alpha definitely had a really strong start, but Ven overall just kind of playing clear and cut of like, okay, cool. If Alpha's gonna be aggressive, and Michael, the question to the answer, the answer to the question is, how do I calm this kid down, dude? He's hyper aggressive. He's a zoomer. He's always you know, hyped up on TikTok and all the crazy G fuel these kids drink these days, man. Like. You gotta find a way to slow him down, but once you do, you're gonna eventually control the pace of the match, and I feel like that's what Ben's doing. 
Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I just realized my computer decided to swap microphone inputs on me. That happens, I was like, bro. I was like, wait, what? No, I don't want my webcam being the mic. I hate that. I hate when the web, like when I first started using, like learning to use my computer and streaming and all that, I didn't know that like a lot of webcams have mic for God knows what reason. So I had like double audio for the longest time. Yeah. Right now we're on game two, switching over to Town City. Yeah, Town City, different dynamics age. It's bigger, so Vin has more space to move around, but Alpha has the speed to kind of cover that because you can see that just a raw aggression right away. He knows, even if it's bigger and Vin has more space, it doesn't matter to me. The more aggressive I am, the better in this matchup here. Good way to hang out from the bottom using the tether recovery because you can just stall yourself from getting hit by night. Or having, basically, you will, you will avoid the option select. What a good, oh. so... So that forward air is really clean, only because forward air one is good, but it's not necessarily, it's all depending on how you choose to go after forward air one. He managed to use as a drag down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's not true, I, from what I've been told several times, but it, it could change. Just, Mike, excuse me, Zelda. That forward air comes out <laughs> at what frame, at what time? Uh, it's very quick and very clutch for Zelda mains. Oh, Alpha decided to pass up the, the juggle opportunity there, but now he's got Ven off stage. See if you can drop the bomb in the right spot. Oh, oh yeah, bomb yeah, drop. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, see, that's what you want to go for, dude. Like, you need to make sure you cover that roll, that get up option, so that if then immediately just tries to move, you can execute on it there. Down oh, smash, man. because you know what? You re grab the ledge. Don't re grab the ledge like that. It's, it's rough. That was, that was just a normal two frame. That was like Alpha looking at his chops because oh, I, he got I, the parry off the teleport hitbox to start. I looked away from one second off. and I just thought I thought of every grab the ledge here, but good parry from Alpha. Not gonna fall for that one this Ooh. time around here. And look at this clean combo all the way to 36%. I'm really impressed by Alpha's recognition of Ven's options. I told you, this man is literally the secretest of secret bosses in SoCal. This is like, you have to like buy the game's oh. a special like international version of the game to be able to actually play this character or this player in this case. I wouldn't count out Ven quite yet. I mean, you don't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of MK Leo offline and not be a formidable player in your own right and be able to pull off some comebacks, even if the character is defensively minded as Zelda is. Yeah, and it's kind of like what you said, too. What Ven makes up for Zelda in terms of weakness, he puts it all in pretty much her advantages, but that's a boomerang forwarder for Alpha, a bomb pull, and then stage control right back at it. Ven is looking for this recovery. Ooh. You gotta watch yourself for that second, that actual hit from Fowers win, because that'll definitely mess you up here and there. No, he can, oh no, he's out of, he's out of height, oh. he's out of height. All right, last stop situation also for Alpha. Let's see how he plays it. I thought he was gonna go for downer, but good on Alpha to have a little bit of control there. Forward air swing to this landing Nair? Man. That was so funny, because it was like just the startup frames of Nair had come out. Uh, you, you hear about characters like, you know, Mario having such, such excellent aerial frame data that you can basically sneak in. Uh, you know, a second aerial before you land on a short hop. Yeah. That's kind of like the secret cheat code to being like a higher top tier is whether or not you can throw out multiple hit boxes air in, in the air before you land. All right. So, uh, and, oh, man, that's the, that's the way it just hurts. Uh, yeah, that looks like a fair cancel to Nair. That's quite good frame data. That is ridiculous frame data. That's what I tell people. <laughs> like, but Young Lynx, like has one clear weakness is that even though he's really strong at mid range to long range, and he kind of, he's kind of very dynamic in all ranges if you really think about it on paper. Like he can do really good with terms of his raw speed because he can close the gap altogether. But the problem is he lacks actual physical, like close quarter. Not, I want to say close quarters come about long range. He doesn't have a disjoint in his sword, even though it's more of a dagger if you think about it in terms of height. So Young There's Link also always. What are you saying? Oh, go on, go on. No, no, please, go on, go on. I was going to say, like, there's also the thing of, like, Young Link can have the Sheik problem, where, like, cool, you dish out all this damage, but, like, where's the stock? You know, it's it's kind of one of those rough, t like, you, sh you, you can show up to the show, and you look dressed to kill, but can you actually pull off the maneuver? And at times, if Young Link doesn't close out within that percent gap, he's kind of stuck in that, and he has to go for something very committal. Speaking of committal, you can see that Ven is really not able to sit back. You see a lot of pursuit going on, and the more that's going on, the more Alpha is able to rack up the damage. 
Right, right. And that's kind of what Alf is winning here. Oh, what a great dash back. Immediately in the shield pressure. Jesus Christ. Van had to just jump out any second he took because that frame data, you know it already, man. It's fast. Landing oh. fair. Second hit, the one with the most knockback because you know how fair one worked from last game. And shield, so like the secret like little matchup factor against Young Link is shield health because you saw basically Ven cornered himself Ooh. there, but Ooh. striking right back, recognition, and basically able to get that up air kill. Ven right now has brought this game back. Now oh, the boomerang had now returned to Young Link yet. You gotta watch Ooh. yourself on that one, man. So it ain't always coming back frame one. You can see, like, increasingly across the games, uh, Ben's not able to, been able to sit back and get night going at all. So. Yeah, it's it's Alpha's aggression. Like, he knows if Zelda's going to take the time to charge for night, <gasps> I have to take the time oh, to be aggressive. Did you see that? Bomb to boomerang to fair, and he spaced it out perfectly. Yeah, that's go. That, that's, that's a chef's kiss confirmed, man. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. The mind game from Alpha getting the footstool there. And for anybody like wondering in general, like Alpha isn't playing the very technical young link you would normally see some young links play. He is very like cut and so super neutral based. You can just tell like, all right, cool. Force my opponent to get out of the ledge so I can get what? This jab? And that's a lot of what Alpha has in just raw strength is his ability to understand neutral and aggression between him and Ven. And like I said, it's none of the super technical stuff you would expect from a young Link main. And as if to like characterize that Alpha just went on a tear there of that ledge trap, it's really making Ven have to grind his gears and get back into this and figure figure out this young Link. He hasn't yeah. been able to solve this problem. Yeah, yeah, this young Link plays, like I said, he is a Smash 4 veteran. He, like I said, he is that, the most <laughs> hidden I said boss. Alpha was the problem. That was the problem solver. <laughs> Sweet spot fair. <laughs> Sweet spot fair from Zelda is no joke. That move has no business having that much knockback. And then sometimes coming out ridiculously early frames than you would expect. Now for Alpha, after that momentum uh, shifting fair, you have to wonder yourself, man, how far am I away from one of those confirms actually taking my last stock? Because Zelda oh. might be a princess, but she's also a little bit of a thief, if you think about it. <laughs> oh, no, dash attack. Ven's got full stage control. Can Alpha escape? Oh, that's not for oh. Alpha, too, because oh. he, he oh knew... Oh, my God! He knew the option select there was the probably best to jump. Bomb explosion saving him, oh having the jump. This man Ven is dodging almost... every single bullet. Man, Ven is throwing everything at him. Ven almost pulled off the heist there. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did. That was quite the heist indeed. Forward air? Oh, 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 he missed oh, the bomb it! didn't explode! Oh, knocked it off the ledge. That would have been so sick. Right now, so much pressure coming from both players. As soon as they get any kind of opening, Alpha able to shield through the Phantom. Almost gets the fire arrow to connect. Not quite. Ven Forward air? Ooh, okay. See, that's that's the thing for Alpha here. He's got Ven at 130, so he's got one fire arrow to forward and try to connect here. What a great way to dash back at the boomerang, because boomerang's knockback will be able to usually allow Leonly to confirm. And what a grab to forward throw. He's been doing it all night. He's wow. been doing it all night. He literally has been doing this to Ven the whole time. He sees Ven charge Knight, and he said that's a free grab and a free punish. Let me have that. Alpha pulling off the 2-1 to send Ven a loser.